Odds ratios are commonly used in public health research to report the overall effect of interventions. Knowing how to interpret an odds ratio allows us to quickly understand whether an intervention works and just how big an effect it has. An odds ratio, commonly referred to as an OR, tells us the odds that a given action leads to a particular outcome. An odds ratio can only be calculated when there are only two possible outcomes for the event being measured, such as getting the flu shot and not getting the flu shot. How would we calculate an odds ratio? Let's take a look at an example. We'll analyze the effectiveness of a campaign to encourage people to get the flu shot. As we go through this, keep in mind that the data are purely hypothetical and shouldn't be used for decision making. Let's say we have 100 people encouraged to get the flu shot, known as the intervention group, and another 100 people who don't receive that encouragement, known as the control group. Among those in the intervention group, 80 get the flu shot and 20 do not. In the control group, 55 get the shot and 45 do not. The odds of getting the flu shot in the intervention group is calculated by dividing the number of people who had the shot by the number of people who didn't. So 80 divided by 20 gives us an odds of 4. And the odds of getting the flu shot in the control group is 55 divided by 45, an odds of 1.22. Now that we have the odds of getting the flu shot in both groups, we can calculate the ratio between them to find out the effectiveness of the campaign. Odds ratios are calculated by dividing the odds of an event occurring in those exposed to an intervention by the odds of an event occurring among those not exposed to the intervention. In our case, this means dividing the intervention group odds, 4, by the control group odds, 1.22, which gives us an odds ratio of 3.3. An odds ratio of 1 means the intervention makes no difference in the odds of getting the flu shot, while an OR greater than 1 means people encouraged to get the flu shot were more likely to get the shot than those who were not. An OR of less than 1 means that those encouraged to get the flu shot were less likely to get the shot than those who were not. In our example, an OR of 3.3 is greater than 1. This means that those in the intervention group had an odds of getting the flu shot over three times more than those not receiving the intervention. Therefore, it appears the intervention was effective. Let's look at this from another perspective, again using hypothetical data. This time, let's take a look at the effectiveness of the flu shot in reducing the likelihood of getting the flu. So, let's say we have 100 people who had the flu shot and another 100 people who haven't. Among those who had the shot, 30 of them get the flu and 70 do not. Among those who didn't get the shot, 45 get the flu and 55 do not. In order to calculate the odds of getting the flu amongst those who had the flu shot, we divide the number of people who had the flu by the number of people who didn't. 30 divided by 70 equals an odds of 0.43. Then we calculate the odds of getting the flu amongst those who didn't get the flu shot the same way. 45 divided by 55 is an odds of 0.82. Finally, to find the odds ratio, we divide the odds of getting the flu among those who had the flu shot by the odds of getting the flu among those who didn't get the shot. 0.43 divided by 0.82 gives us an odds ratio of 0.52. We said earlier that an OR of 1 means there is no difference between the intervention and control groups. In our last example, the OR of 0.52 is less than 1, about half, meaning the odds of getting the flu after having the shot are about half of what they are for those who didn't get the shot. In this instance, having an OR less than 1 is a positive outcome. So, in this instance, we conclude that getting the flu shot is an effective way to avoid getting the flu. Odds ratios are very powerful because they help us to see how effective the interventions we are using are and to what degree. If an odds ratio is 1, we know that those exposed to an intervention are no better off than those who are not. An odds ratio above or below 1 is a positive or negative finding depending on what the outcome is. In our first example, greater odds of getting the flu shot, our OR was greater than 1, suggesting the intervention was effective. 
therefore the outcome was positive. However, in the second example, we want to see lower odds of getting the flu, so we would look for an OR below 1, which in this case is also a positive effect. Just how much more or less than 1 an OR is tells us how large the effect is. With some practice, odds ratios are not difficult to interpret, and they will help you determine more quickly which public health interventions appear to be effective in comparison to others.